accused by two sides. Uh, there are some non-Muslims who accuse me a kind of fundamentals and radicals. Yeah. On the other hand, there are some Muslims who accuse me too moderate and too Americans, uh, more, too much inclined to America. Uh, so they accuse me being not really representing Islam. This Holy Quran, the Arabic version of it, never changed. The same that Prophet Muhammad received 15 centuries ago, the same Quran that we have today. But again, the people who understand it might be very different from time to time and very much influenced by the cultural, socials, and um, the context that they live in. Islam is about knowledge. Uh, you cannot be a good Muslim unless you are knowledgeable. And that's why the first verse came to Prophet Muhammad, the first ayah of Quran came to Prophet Muhammad was a command to read, to exercise the brain, to use the brain, a thing, reflect, uh, seek knowledge. And if you, see, if you read the Holy Quran, you will find that the largest words used in the Holy Quran after the words Allah, God, is about knowledge. Do you know Al-Khwarizmi? Math is Muslim, okay? So a lot of those who invented science and technology were Muslims in the past. But you know what happened to the Muslims today? We are busy with just rituals and uh, um, many small issues and we forgot the real essential needs of human beings. America, uh, Imam has One of the, um, the, primer, the prime uh, activities that I'm involved with here in the city is interfaith dialogue. Uh, particularly after September 11th, I have been working together with Jewish, Christians, Catholics, and even Hindus and Buddhists. I lecture synagogues, I lecture um, Jewish theological seminary, and they have hope seeing me talking to them. They appreciate really. Uh, when I talk to the, to the, to the Christians also, they, are, they, are, they have a hope that they can build bridges between the Christians and the Muslim world. In this new millennium, dialogue between religious followers find, must find its uh, loftiest and most noble motivation in the uh, uh, commitment to peace and tolerance. Dialogue between religions is a necessary prerequisite for meeting the complex and difficult needs of our time. Don't politicize religion, but take religion as a moral force for you to be guided for your political activism.